Jesus warned of one coming out of the wilderness. He warned of one in the secret chambers. He warned of a wolf in sheep clothing. The only man that fits that description is the apostate, the self-proclaimed Apostle Paul. Whether you like to admit it or not, the Apostle Paul is the father of the Christian church and he is the Joseph of Jesus. This is the reason why he was present during the birth of Jesus. When Jesus said, I and my father is one. He was being God's Isaiah. He was pointing to the one who proclaimed to be the father of this Christian movement. This is all pointing to Paul. This is all pointing to Paul. Joseph was of another religion. The Joseph of Genesis was an Egyptian. And he swore by the life of Pharaoh. Now you might not know that the Joseph of Genesis swore by the life of Pharaoh. That's what he did. Okay, he didn't even eat with his brothers because it was an abomination for the Egyptian to eat with the Hebrews. Joseph swore by the life of Pharaoh. Let that sink in. He didn't swear by Almighty God. He swore by the life of Pharaoh. And Jesus was the Messiah who came before Paul. And Paul was the one who was grabbing a hold of Issa's heel. And so Jesus had to be the lying spirit in the mouth of all of Paul's prophets. As it is written in the book of Kings, a spirit came forth. And that spirit said, I will entice Ahab. I will cause him to fall. And God said, go, for thou shalt have success. The cup was in Benjamin's sack. Jesus swore by the life of Paul. Joseph swore by the life of Pharaoh. It's one and the same. Joseph was a type and shadow of Jesus. And he used divination. And he passed that cup of divination into the sack of Benjamin, indicating that there would be one in the future from the tribe of Benjamin using divination, which is nothing more than witchcraft. This is seen in the story of Saul. When he used divination, he went to inquire of a witch of Endor. And he was the prophet that prophesied naked. Why? Because he was the ham. He was the false Abraham who seen his father's nakedness. Now the Saul of the New Testament cursed the nation of Islam. He cursed it. He seen it coming and he cursed it. Okay, that's going into foretelling. He was using divination when he eyed David, his jealousy allowed him to see something. You know his name is Saul. He saw Islam in the future and he cursed it through the power of witchcraft. Which is proof that Christianity is nothing more than witchcraft. This is the reason why Joseph put the cup in Benjamin's sack. He was trying to tell you that the apostate Paul is nothing but a witch. He is nothing but the Jezebel that the Bible tells us of in the book of Revelation, the false apostle that Jesus exposed who taught the children of Israel to eat food sacrificed to idols. Everything you see in the life of King Saul, you see in the life of the New Testament King Saul. And he is the Joseph of Jesus. What are you talking about? Read your Gospels. All the time, Jesus is constantly talking about Father, 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 Father. Now, if you are a Muslim, you know that Allah has no sons. And you believe Jesus to be a Muslim. 
Okay, so why is he constantly talking about father? Why was Joseph present during his birth? Why? Because he was pointing to the father of the Christian church, and that is Paul. As it is written, I will put a lying spirit in the mouth of all your prophets. These are the prophets of Paul. These are the prophets of Paul. And everyone during that time was up under Paul. John the Baptist prophesied about a lamb taking sins. The children of Israel believed in one man dying for the nation. This was the teaching of that period that one man should bear the iniquity of all of mankind. And so all of the Israelites were duped into believing that their sons shall bear the iniquity of of their fathers and this is the religion of Christianity which was given to us by the nation of Israel now this is the truth you need to wake up and find out what's in your Bible find out about that cup of divination that was passed into Benjamin's sack what was that going into why was the Christians killed Constantly, 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 because God's word is true. The Bible says you should not suffer a witch to live. And Christianity is merely witchcraft. That's all it is. All it is. Go to Saul. He was bringing up witches. The New Testament Saul. He's bringing up witches. He's bringing up a so-called dead prophet just like his ancestor bringing up Samuel. He went from killing the witches to converting to the witches. He went from killing the Christians to converting to the Christians. Christianity is witchcraft. It is the cup in Benjamin's sack. The prophet Isa was God's Isaiah. The Messiah. Get it? Messiah. Get it, Isaiah, I-S-A, the prophet Isa, I-S-A, in the book of Luke chapter 4. He said, this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes. Jesus knew his assignment. He knew he was God's Isaiah, the Messiah. You fail to realize that Jesus was God's Isaiah. Isaiah was sent out to misguide the people. He was sent to make their ears heavy unless they be converted by hearing the truth. And you fail to realize that in the Quran, it reads, And when Allah said, O oh Jesus, I will cause thee to die a natural death and will exalt thee to myself and will clear from thee charges of those who disbelieve and will place those who follow you above those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then to me shall be your return. And I will judge between you concerning that wherein you differ. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something very alarming. He said, I will judge between you in what you differ. So that's going into that even Jesus had differences. That Allah himself will have to judge. You fail to realize that the truth is right before your eyes. And that Paul is the one who is responsible for Jesus coming back having to die a natural death. Now in Quran 5, 116, we are told that Allah will say to Jesus, Did you say to the people, worship you and your mother as gods? And Jesus will clear himself from those charges and he will say, you know what's hidden within me. Pause. He said, you know what's hidden within me. And we know that in the Quran it tells us that Jesus will be a witness and that he was a word and that he was a spirit. I truly believe with all my heart and soul that he was the spirit that was sent forth to be the lying spirit in the mouth of all of Paul's prophets. And we know Joseph tricked his brothers, okay? He tricked his brothers. And in the Quran it reads, Jesus said to his disciples, Who will stand with me in the cause of Allah? 
And the disciples said, We will stand with you in the cause of Allah. And it is written that they have schemed. But Allah is the best of planners. He's the best of schemers. Okay? He is the best of deceivers. As it is written in your own Bible, God deceived Jeremiah. And God promised to deceive the prophet that would speak lies in his name in Ezekiel chapter 14. Wake up. Read your Bible. Reread it over and over and over again. Go back to the story of Joseph. Take a look at that cup. It was used for divination. And Allah has tricked you. Go back to the story of Joshua. When the spies were hid on the roof and God used Rahab, <laughs> he used Rahab to mislead the people of Jericho as it is written. They have gone off. Pursue after them and you shall overtake them. But all along, the two spies were hid on Rahab or Arab's roof. God is all about misleading and deceiving. He used a spirit to bring down Ahab. Jezebel wrote letters in the king's name to kill a righteous man and take his vineyard. So God used the same trick on Jezebel and her husband. He allowed a lying spirit to come forth and take Ahab down. Okay, when you think to deceive Allah, he will deceive you. When you walk contrary unto him, he will walk contrary unto you. When you show yourself forward unto him, he will show himself forward unto you. Reread the book of Acts. As it is written, Paul was a chosen vessel, huh? A vessel was a cup. He was the cup of divination that was used to set the church on fire. Now, never mind the Christians. If they want to be lost, let them be lost. Jesus never once called God his father. He was a Muslim, okay? Allah has no sons. The only father this could be referenced to is in 1 Corinthians 4.15. This is Paul, the father of the Christian church. This is Paul the Joseph of Jesus. Jesus had to be the Canaan. He had to bear the iniquity of his father Ham, who is Ham, the man who saw his father's nakedness. This is exactly what Paul did. He claimed to be the father, and Canaan had to bear the curse. Now, that's just a little bit. I encourage you to watch these videos. I encourage you to spread this channel. So you can get the truth about what really happened to Christ and what is going on with Christianity and Paul today. We have all those answers right here in the house of David. And the devil hates when we bring out the truth of Paul. Him being the wolf, him being the one that was in the desert that Jesus warned of, him being in the secret chambers, him being from the tribe of the wolf, all that stuff is pointing to the false Messiah, Jesus' twin, Jesus' Jacob, that was grabbing a hold of his heel.